What's up everybody, it's your boy Machu Picchu and today I'm actually going to show you guys something that I kind of learned as well. Um, I've noticed that a lot of people have been having a tough time using the Durgod Hera compiler uh, in regards to the Galaxy 75 that was collaborated by HK Gaming and Durgod. I'm going to go ahead and do an in-depth review of it later on but for now I want to do this first because I'm pretty sure that somebody is going to want to learn how to do this. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I did it right now. Let's go. All right. So this is the homepage of the uh, Hera compiler. So you can see on the left side here, uh, you have uh, different devices. You have your project names, and then you have your pathway where you're saving it. Uh, what you're gonna do? Actually, I didn't even know this, and I, I was really struggling with this too. Um, by the way, I'm gonna go ahead and drop the link down in the description below so you guys can check this out as well um, and I really hope that this helps you guys out uh, anyways continuing on so what you're gonna do is you're gonna select new project here at the bottom click on the arrow and you're gonna select the keyboard that you're using in this case we're using the galaxy 84 HK gaming cross Durgod. so right here it says project name cannot be empty so we're gonna go ahead and name it um, I named this keyboard Rosé, so we're going to go ahead and do Rosé 2. And then your path right here, this is your new project path, this is where you're going to be saving it. And pretty much just choose any folder that you want. Um, in my case, I, I'm just, I already made a folder for this, uh, just name it Galaxy 84. Select that, and here is your pathway right here, down here at the bottom left. G alt in my case it's G colon forward uh, slash galaxy 84 slash rose dot two rose two dot hero. Sorry, I know I mixed all that up. Uh, from there we're gonna go ahead and select OK. Now you're gonna go up to the next page, which is the uh, the project page. So what you're gonna do a lot of you want to really mess with the the lighting profiles and trust me that was literally one of the things i wanted to do as well i really wanted to change the colorway because of the theme that i chose for this keyboard again i'm gonna do an in-depth review of it and what i did uh, but for now let's focus back on the software so from here we're gonna go ahead and select lighting and you have up here you have five different modes that you can choose from you have key area radar 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 you can actually change all of these down here at the at the bottom so let me move your magic people <laughs> all right so what we're gonna do here is let's say let's go ahead and select mode one okay we're gonna choose you know what let's just do a custom one let's just do straight custom this is a 75 percent layout as you guys can see this is an 84 key keyboard so what you're gonna do is highlight and drag and for now let's just do something simple so from here so you have your keys selected let's just do red and you're gonna do the same down here but you know what let's do half of that we'll do yellow the other half over here. Oh, what? Nope. The other half here. We'll make it blue. This one will be. Oh, nope. White. This one will be blue. This one will be yellow. Oh, nope. Yellow? No. Yellow. And then this one will be red. Okay, so once you have all that down, all you're gonna do is you're going to click preview and you should actually see it on your keyboard itself. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like right now. And there you have it. So once you have the layout you like, click on OK. 
and you are going to click on download right down here click on download oh, click on download and click download update success once it's done don't mind it it's just doing its thing click finish and you're done with lighting let's go ahead and move on to the keys <clears throat> so for me I actually just like to do uh, well let's go ahead and do uh, the FN keys because those are important so right here you're gonna choose your key and these two right here are your FN your FN1 and FN2 FN1 FN2 FN1 FN2 okay so that we're gonna make FN key We'll make that FN1. Click on the other one. FN2. Okay. So FN1. Click on FN1. Now what you're going to do is you're going to select the key that you want. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and follow the layout of the key move shadow because I've been using that so much. So ASDF. F. This is going to be a media key. Multimedia key. This is going to be mute. The next to it, we'll do multimedia. We're gonna do volume down. The one next to it, we will do volume up. Play, pause. You know what? I'm, no, I'm, this is gonna be straight custom for me. Down here, we'll go multimedia. We'll do play. Multimedia. We'll do stop. Multimedia, we'll do previous, multimedia, we'll do next track. Okay, so now this is just the base, uh, the base setup that I like. Uh, it's pretty simple for me to use. Now we're going to go ahead and do the lighting profiles. So what I did, and you guys don't have to do this, you guys can do it however you want, but we're going to go ahead and select this. We're gonna select the uh, the left arrow key. This is going to be lighting control. Now the way I did it is I did the left key mode switch. Up arrow key is going to be brightness up. Lighting control, brightness down. Lighting control, this is gonna be Let's just say light edge on, on off. I still don't even know what that really does, to be honest. Key light backlit on off, and that will be, oh yeah, speed down and speed up, okay? So that's that. And when you're done with all of that, once you've got all of your keys set up, or at least your, your function keys, click download and download. Cool. So it's done. Success. Press finish. And you're good to go. Once you got all that down, your keyboard is set. And you should have a finished product that looks something like this. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. It was really hard for me to figure this all out too, um, but a little trial and error never hurt nobody, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys like this video, please toss a comment, like it, even subscribe if you have never been to my channel. 
But again, I hope you guys found this video informative. And again, thank you very much for joining me. I'll see you guys later in the next video, which is going to be the review of the HK Gaming Cross Durgod collaboration, the Galaxy 75. Stay tuned for that, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye.